Hey, welcome back to another bonus episode of the All In Podcast, All In with Natalie Alport, myself, your host. I'm here to walk you through this recap series that we're doing of the top podcast highlights of 2020 based on certain themes. So this week we're going to dive into the process. So we're going to talk about some of the highlights on some of the highlights from our guests of 2020 when they spoke specifically about focusing on the process and why it's so important to focus and trust the process. Really be invested on the process and not just stuck to the certain timelines or goals or results. So we're going to start with Ed Haynes. Ed is a CrossFit Games coach. His brother is a CrossFit Games athlete and he coaches his brother as well as an entrepreneur, a gym owner, online program owner, apparel company owner. He's doing a ton of things and so he starts off with talking specifically about why it's so important for him to focus on the process. You know, it's funny, one of the mantras that we have here at Coastal Fitness is trust the process and I know we definitely didn't coin that and I'm not I'm not going to pretend that we made that up but <laughs> You know, the process is, is really all about, it, it's, I think it's really important to first and foremost, like state that you have a goal, that there is a vision, that there is an end, something that you're striving towards achieving. But at the end of the day, you know, we, we talk about outcome, outcome bias goals versus process bias goals. And, that, you know, it's important to have that outcome, that thing you're striving towards. But at the end of the day, it's the daily actions and the tasks that you do that make you allow you to arrive at that goal. And a lot of times when people are too outcome focused and they're just looking at this end goal and that's everything they're doing in their daily lives, they're not being present in, but they're just thinking like, I have to do this because that is what I want to achieve. Is that eventually when and if you do arrive at that goal, you realize that it hasn't been an enjoyable process. You've sacrificed a lot of things and you haven't enjoyed the ride, which I think is really what it's all about. So I think process related goals is where you know, you're creating and there's a planning process that has to go in here, but the actionable steps that you have to do on a daily basis, that's going to allow you to then arrive at your goal. And in that process, you have to find enjoyment. Right. Because if you're not having enjoyment in the process that's getting you to think, then you're just probably not going to ever arrive at that goal. And I think what starts to happen is that the pursuit of the goal when you have a process becomes an enjoyable pursuit. And it's the pursuit that actually is more enjoyable than attaining that final goal at the end of the day, because you're having wins every single day versus struggle every single day. And then suddenly there's this miraculous, like I've arrived. And I think if that's the mindset people take and the approach to goal setting, where it's a struggle or struggle or struggle, the day that they do arrive, they're often like, that just wasn't worth it. I right. don't know why I created all that commitment to do it and all that sacrifice sacrifice because when I arrived, it actually wasn't all as great as it was. Whereas if you have that process, like every day is, is great. So I hope you enjoyed hearing from Ed. He's a great coach and coaches some high-level athletes and has some great insights. We really jive and connect when it comes to talking about mindset. Next up, we have Carlin Isles, who you heard from in the Motivation Podcast. And if you haven't heard his full podcast already, you should definitely go and do so. Carlin is the fastest rugby player on earth. He plays for Team USA Rugby, was former NFL, as well as a professional sprinter. So listen in on how he really focuses on the process. It takes, you know... Uh, a unique individual. I mean, you got to be really driven. That's the main thing. Like, a lot of people want to be doctors or this and that, and, you know, that the, it looks good, and, you know, the title's good, but the process is really show you what you're about, if you can really do it or not. And some people just don't hang on too long, or some people, you know, really do and, and excel. So it's the it's the process that really show you um, and really shape you and mold you to, to whatever you end up being. We're keeping things really quick on this episode, all about the process. I really love this new series where it's really quick and to the point and just some of the highlights and then you guys can go and listen to the full episodes if you haven't already or you can just re-listen to some of these highlights if you so choose to do so. We're ending again with some points from Ed on long-term plans. I want to be the best at everything I do and that means like I have to put full effort into what I'm doing today and I know that that's going to lead me to an outcome that I wouldn't be happy with. And so really that's, you know, that's, I guess, a big approach that I take with everything I do, just put everything into what I'm doing now and, and, and believe that it will lead to success somewhere. And I, and, you know, I really need other people, you know, like you or like 
my business partners or like my members that keep on asking me like, well, what do you want to achieve? What do you want to do? Because I need to think about that stuff as well sometimes. You know, right. sometimes you realize that when you're so swamped in the here and now, you get caught up in, in not actually moving things forward. And sometimes like I need those people to hold me accountable to say, hey, put in all this work, buddy, but you're not actually progressing anywhere. Like what's next? So I love when I my guests talk about focusing on the process. It's something that is, it's difficult to do. It's like a skill that you have to build and you have to keep working on to really focus on the task at hand and not just comparing to this big goal. Because when you have these big audacious goals in your life, in sports, in work, whatever it is, they can seem like they're so far away. And every day, if you're not seeing that progress, it's hard to really commit and be motivated. Whereas if you stick to like, okay, every day I have to do these things. And I know if I keep doing these things, it gives me the best chance of accomplishing that goal. Then every day you feel fulfilled if you've done those things. It's not like, oh no, I'm not at my goal yet. It's like I did every single thing I needed to do to get there today. And that was a successful day for me. So I think that's super important. One thing that I try to like live by a mantra is micro focus, macro change. Focus on those small things and they add up. I know one of my best athletic years in the sport of CrossFit was after a year where I had that written up had it written up on my mirror that the 1% differences made a big difference. I had on my whiteboard, micro focus, micro change. And every day I just focused. I had actually like a laminated sheet of paper and I had everything under my nutrition, under my mobility, under um, my work, under my personal life, under my training. And I had things to check off that I did. Did I give 100% commitment to my training? Did I, you know, complete all my training? Did I track my my uh, macros with my nutrition? Did I call one family member that I love? Did I meditate because I know that's good for my mindset? Um, all those different things. And so I made sure I checked those all off. And at the end of the year, I saw immense progress in all these areas of my life. So focusing on the process definitely pays off. Thanks again for tuning in. I hope you guys like this series. If you do, share it on Instagram. Uh, send me a message. Tag me so that I can, can see what you guys are saying. As well as if you have a chance to leave a review, I would really appreciate it.